My name is John Bromley. I'm the uh, founder and CEO of Charitable Impact. Uh, some of you might also know it as Chimp, because when you take Charitable and Impact and smash it together, you get the portmanteau Chimp. Charitable Impact is a donor-centered giving community. We are what charity nerds would know to be a donor-advised fund. What that means is we give people their own giving accounts, and they can use that giving account to send money to any registered charity of their choice or any qualified donee. So we don't really care how much experience people have with giving. We don't care how much money they give away. We just care that they are charitable and we're here to nurture their charitability. Our accounts are as big as $70 million. And yet both of my kids have their own giving account and I pay them a charitable allowance every month so that they can start to learn and make their own decisions about giving. This very extreme focus on the donor has led me to one trend I'm gonna talk about uh, with you today for 2022, and that is personalization. We've heard a little bit about it already today. So what we're going to see more of is automated personalization in the fundraising market. So is this a movement away from the big blast email? Of course, the hypothesis is that when we personalize, we'll see more open rates. And when we see more open rates, there's a more high, higher likelihood of people taking action. And it's critical that people take action, both for us as charities who need the income and want the engagement, but also for donors who are looking to carry out what they care about changing in the world. Let's not forget that people actually care about this stuff uh, in the real world. So when we think about personalization, let's also remember that existing tools are already there for us. Like co companies like HubSpot or Salesforce or Contentful come to mind as familiar tools where we can go and segment our audience and talk to them on an individual basis. There's also newer emergent companies that I think are cool, like Fundraise Up, who can suggest different donation amounts based on what they know or what they think they know. The other thing I think we're going to see with regard to a tool for personalization is we're going to see more use of text messaging. Text messaging, the cost of doing that and, and having getting that out to large scaled audiences has really come down. And we're going to, I think we're going to see, see, see more of that. A tool like Community comes to mind for that. So let's just take the last half of my five minutes here to talk about some of the problems with personalization. So what are the problems with these, these trends? First of all, as we've heard from other presenters, doing stuff like this takes time and it takes money. And the charitable sector is not a level playing field, right? The top 1% of charities in Canada take in the vast, vast, vast majority of the income from donors. So we've got to be smart about how we go about it. I'm going to come back to that point. Before we go there, do we actually know enough about our donors? So does the little amount we know about our donors, the, based on how they interact with our organization, actually give us the confidence to you know, try to personalize content for them? I say go for it. Be more prepared to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission, but just be careful and wary of, realistically speaking, how much our AI is going to know about the donor. So let's go back to some of the roots of fundraising and remember that fundraising is ultimately and, and its roots are really an in-person driven piece, right? And so let's build from there. If you don't you know, have the money to invest in new tools, start with the tools that you already have. Start with a much smaller cohort of people that you know better, personalize to them, and then build audiences around those folks that scale up your communications. So let's just come back to the donor advised fund. I think we're going to see more donors using tools that are built for them. And let's recognize as charities that the tools that we're building for ourselves as fundraisers are really for us and not necessarily for the donors. So let's really streamline that thinking. What you're going to see donors start to do is look for more personalization 